<laughs> Are we ready for bonus puzzle pieces? You know, I'm always ready for the bonus puzzle pieces. Good night, Metal Lord. Have a funny night. <laughs> Good night, Dust. Thanks for joining in. Hi there. I'm Pajama Sam. Hello there, Mr. Sam. I'm Trigger. I'm looking for some missing things. Could you help me find them? It would be my pleasure, Mr. Sam. Hang on. All right, we're in Trigger the Wagon, another OC character. Wow, that was a crazy jump to start this. <laughs> I like the background, though. This city level should be interesting. Wee -hee! I believe there are 100 levels. Keep the pup put OCs out of the Pajama Sam game. <laughs> I don't know why we had to have a brand new character for this. Also, this this wagon looks surprisingly similar to George Someone. For those of you who don't know, George Someone was the stapler from Pajama Sam 2. A classic forgotten character. Woohoo! Flying wagon. Ow! Who's having all this road construction in front of their house? What is this, Michigan? Oh, wait. Yes, this is Mich Michigan confirmed. For those of you who don't know, Michigan is always under road construction. Except during winter, but that then you can't really drive anyways. Oh, I'm sorry, that's right. Oh yeah, because that was funny, because um, the stapler was the supply guy. And he was really nervous that George someone was trying to uh, fire him, and George someone was the staple remover. It was such a such a subtle pun, and it was so good. Yes, you were correct. It was he was a staple remover. Ow! What the heck? Does Seattle have a lot of road construction too? Yes, Michigan has two seasons, winter and road construction. But see, seriously though, Michigan, we have three months of summer, like two and a half months of autumn, six months of winter, and a single week of spring. That's how it goes. I love the background in these levels. The sound effects in here are so great. <laughs> We're just cruising through the neighborhood looking for our lost stuff. Give me the extra life. I need it. Wow, these, these levels are short. Yeah, this, this fall has been really nice. It's been very warm. It still kind of is surprisingly warm, especially for Michigan November. It's been great. But I know it's only a matter of time. Winter is coming, as they say. Ugh. Who puts... <laughs> Who puts the plastic flamingos in their yard? Who thinks that that looks good? Oh man, I want to go to Save You Big! That seems like a great store. We don't have any near my place. <laughs> hey dude, Cardoman, welcome! <laughs> Low 50s to late 40s, that's... N I still count that as kind of warm. <laughs> At least for Michigan November. If it's outside of the 30s, that can be downright balmy. Why, yes, I am considering moving. And as it turns I've been applying to new jobs in warmer uh, parts of the USA, and I actually finally got a bite, so we'll see how that goes. That is not the end of the level like I thought it was. Oh, look at all these potholes. Yep. The only thing that makes this not Michigan is that the road is actually paved. 
If it was a dirt road, then yep, that's Michigan. Can we have Fatty Bear's house as an Easter egg? That would be funny. Imagine how much longer this stream series would be if I actually played the bonus level uh, after every single level. The whole series would be, like, more than twice as long! What the heck?! Goodness me. Would I ever get a pet? Oh! Absolutely I would, DX. In fact, I'm planning, like, when I move- because right now I'm just renting a place. When I actually buy my own house, I will be getting one or two cats. I don't I don't want I don't want to be the the cat guy or like the crazy cat lady equi dude equivalent. But I do love cats and I think if I got two they could keep each other company if I had to, you know, have a life. <laughs> what kind of house do I want? Uh one that I can live in. <laughs> I'm not too picky. <laughs> One that I can afford, and ideally one that's out in the country, so I have yard space. Oh, of course! Of course! You do know if I get cats that I'll be posting in the Discord, like, 500% more frequently. Be like, oh my gosh! My cat meowed at me, it's so cute! <laughs> I find your terms acceptable. Like, there's a lot about the internet that I dislike, but cat photos are one of those things that make the internet great. <laughs> we just blaze past the school. Like a house between an apartment and a mansion. Oh, well... <laughs> I mean, I can't, I don't, I'm pretty well off. I'm not well off enough to get a mansion. I mean, because it's just me, I don't need anything huge. But I mean, I do want to get married, I do want to have a family, so... If I could get, it, like, maybe two bedrooms and at least one bathroom, that should be fine for now. I can always upgrade the house later. But just remember, folks... Bigger houses are nice, but the bigger your house, the more you gotta clean. If you got like a three story house of five bedrooms, well, that's five bedrooms and three stories that you get a vacuum. It's gonna take a lot longer. Honest, honestly, as long as the house has, like, the basic utilities and fast internet, I'm pretty good. I don't need anything super fancy. You know, like, anytime you're getting a house or a place to live, you've got your needs, which is honestly a pretty small list, and then you've got your wants, which is often a much, much bigger list. The wants are secondary. And, like, fast internet would normally fall, fall under the list of wants, but for me and my profession, it actually is on a list of needs. Because I'm going to be working remotely, which means fast internet connection is, like, one thing you actually do need. Not even just for streams, but for my job. And for those of you who are curious, I'll just say, uh... For my job, I work with computers, and it's Michigan, so I work with automotive. <laughs> and that's about all I can explain. It's always fun when I've got, like, family or friends who are like, So, Artie, what do you do for your job? And I'm like, how do I explain it in a way that you would actually understand? It's hard. It's not hard for other automotive engineers, but... For, like, my grandma, that's always fun. 
It's like, um, I work with computers. You know all those features in the car that you don't actually want? Yeah, I'm responsible for helping design those. Yeah, free rent living with your parents is nice, but I think at some point you gotta be independent. Set out on your own. So, like, I lived with my parents through college and for, like, a year after college, but then I'm like, no, I want my own place. I want to... I want to make it on my own. I don't, I don't want to take too much advantage of them. And I think that was a good move. And I'm still close enough that I can visit my parents frequently, but... This way I'm in a bit more independent. I think, I think it's good for people to be independent. You know, I, th I think we all have some growing up we can do. Mainly talking about myself here, by the way, because I'm the one playing a game ages 3 to 8 on my channel for an audience when I am 26 years old. So, clearly I've still got a long way to go. It was very weird. The, uh, the shovel and the rubble were moving at a different rate than everything else. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. For those of you who don't know, my parents' cat is literally named Caesar. And, uh, yeah. He's cute, but he's kind of crazy. Also, still very spry, despite him being, like, 15 or 16 years old. Okay, that, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'm not, I'm not trying to sit here and judge, be like, oh, shame on you. Like, no, I'm more just explaining my personal thought process behind things. Oh, yes. I'm more excited for the Pajama Man comic book, uh, Sam. Okay, if, apparently if you spin on the potholes, that is different from spinning on your own. Because I wasn't able to go over the barricade. The radio was in the puddle. I'm, I'm sure it still works just fine. Mmm, cheese. And Gas Mart. I can't see how those stores could possibly fail. All right, folks, five levels left. Man, is it just me, or are these levels in the city, like, way easier than the levels in the last few worlds? Actually, these might just be the easiest levels. Maybe I'm just good at the game now, but I haven't had a game over yet, so... And there hasn't been a whole lot of unfair... These levels are super short, too! What on earth? True. I mean, I'm not in an apartment, I'm in a condo. And I've got I've got free condo neighbors. They're all very 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 nice people. Like we we talk and they're lovely. They're they're all my mom's age though. And my recording area is directly above the garage, which means that if anybody op all right here we go. This is interesting. If anybody opens the garage door, it will get picked up on my mic. <laughs> this that's because. This there's only so many times I can be like, wee, or like, oh boy, a bonus puzzle piece. Th this is why there are some games that are a bit on the boring side that I like to make my stream series, so I can talk with people more. Whereas for my Let's Plays, the more grindy games, I like to make my Let's Plays so I can cut the grindy parts out in editing. If you guys want to get the deep lore on Artie's personal life, you've got to watch my Pajama Sam Lost and Found stream series. <laughs> and constantly hear about Pajama Sam talking about bonus puzzle pieces. Can we open a Save You Big and Gas Mart in my town? Specific- hopefully the same thing? I think I missed something Why did I miss there. something? Where's the sock? Where's the sock? Oh, there. Wow. That was interesting. What was the first humongous entertainment game I ever played? Um, it was either Putt-Putt Joins the Parade or P Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise. Or Putt-Putt and Fatty Bear's Activity Pack. Like, we kind of got those free at the same time. 
Man, they were amazing. Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise, to this day, still possibly in my top 10 favorite video games of all time. Which seems weird in a world where things like Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, and Banjo Tooie exist, but no, Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise, man. Such a good time. What's my favorite Humongous Entertainment game? Fat uh, probably Fatty Bear. I also really, really like Spy Fox and Dry Cereal, and Pajama Sam 1, and Freddy Fish and Moofers Bay's Madness. All legendary games. And Puppet Enters the Race, and Puppet Saves the Zoo. Basically all of them. They're all, they're all, they're all amazing. Alright folks, level 100. Last level. Someone owns a castle in the neighborhood. <laughs> That's where I'm moving to. This, this... Maybe it's because the wagon feels way better to control than, say, the forklift? But man, this has been an easy world. Is that the end? That was for the end. Wow! That level was so easy. That world was so easy! We oh my gosh, we almost beat the brain's high score. Okay. <laughs> so we have Brain, Goofy, and Donad. <laughs> all the 3D Marios and a Humongous Entertainment. They're all great. Uh, my. <laughs> so here's the Fein R Us. Normally, if you had asked me, like, a month ago what the worst Humongous Entertainment game was, I would have said Pep's Birthday Surprise. Spoiler alert, my sister and I have recorded a Let's Play of that, so that's on the back burner. Not as bad as I remember. Still bad, but I can confidently say Pajama Sam 4 is the worst. Now. Out of the ones I've played. And we'll get into that later, because I think at this point I have to play it one way or another. Water Worries? Okay, here's the thing. Water Worries is just really, really boring. But there's not anything about it that it's inherently, like, really bad. It's just such a slog to play. Whereas, Pajamas Have 4 and Pep's Birthday Surprise, uh, those are both, like, low-quality games. <laughs> but I, I don't want to spoil things. Okay, for the high score... We gotta make this a good one. It's it's the number two spot. The number two spot. Who, who, who should it be? Who should it be? <laughs> Name it Pablo. <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go. Pablo got the second the highest score. Under Brain, just above Goofy and Donad, though. So there we go. Does this game have ending credits? It does! Sam, are you done yet? Uh, yeah, Mom. I'm just finishing up. No, you're not. Oh, hey. It cleaned well, up. You better get out here and get some dessert, then. Oh, boy, dessert. You know, maybe from now on, I should just put my stuff away all the time. So I wouldn't have to go looking for it. But... <laughs> It was kind of fun, wasn't it? I, I guess. I'd say that was one of the weaker junior arcade games, but it's it was still fun playing. Wait, what what scum VM bug exists? <laughs> I didn't notice a bug. Or was it was were we supposed to get a Sam animation of him cleaning up the room? <laughs> I thought it just cut away to like it was doing like a flash Oh, he was supposed to actually be putting his stuff up. Oh <laughs> Whoops! Nope, nope, Pajama Sam just snapped his fingers like Thanos, and then the half of the stuff in his room got erased. <laughs> and then it looked clean. That's how it went. <laughs> oh, man, we should have put Thanos' name as the number two spot. Oh, wait, that wouldn't fit. That wouldn't fit. Whoops. When are we going to get... Well, hang on. I don't think we're getting any more Pajama Sam games, but it was disappointing we never got any glimpse of Pajama Sam's big brother, Mark. We got some references... I feel like he and Mark could have had their own journey, maybe. <laughs> You're getting the game so you could debug that. The password end it skips straight to the ending. Interesting. What where's the music? There's not they didn't even put music in for the credits? Come on! What a jip. Man, this game this game just seems lower quality than some of the other junior arcade games. As far as where this ranks, 
I would definitely rank it higher than Water Worries, but I think I would rank it lower than all the others that I've played. But, here's the thing. I have never played either of the two Spy Fox Junior Arcade games, Cheese Chase and Hold the Mustard. I've heard those are not great, but I love Spy Fox, so I'm, I'm itching to try those eventually. It's too late, dude, Cardam. Uh, like, at this point, I'm playing Pajama Sam 4. But here's the thing. My sister and I are going to play it together, and it's going to be really funny because we're going to be mercilessly mocking how bad it is. <laughs> so it's going to make it a lot more fun. <laughs> there are other crazy passwords if you go to the cutting room. Oh, I love the cutting room floor. There's so much cool stuff there, especially for Yamagus Entertainment. <laughs> like, that's that's how I figured out about the, uh, the dog on a stick custom level editor, or the secret level editor. That was really good. Yeah, I would say, I mean, this one is probably one of the weaker Humongous Entertainment games, but it was still fun at times. I just felt like they needed to iron out some of the bugs and maybe tighten up the controls a bit, and it could have been a lot more fun. Yeah. That's that's how I feel. So that was Pajama Sam's Lost and Found.